Now, the rubber state governor, Agbo Kefers, has remodeled, installed, and commissioned the rural electrification project in the Gembo headquarters of Sadauna, local government area of the state, which has been neglected by previous administrations. Now, the rural electrification, which has been neglected for 20 years, has not been given a new breath by the administration. Our correspondent Jude Nuhu Gundali's report is presented from our studios. The remodeled and newly installed equipment by the Kefas administration will now bring a new lease of life to the rested who have been living in perpetual darkness for over 20 years. The governor said that it is in fulfillment of his campaign promises to the people of the area. He also expressed optimism that the project will open more doors for progress and development. When I came in here, this request was made, and I felt that at this age we are, we shouldn't be in darkness. With God's support, we are able to start the development of this place with light. Once you have light, you can do anything. The governor spoke extensively on how his administration will harness the tourism potentials that abound in the area. We are going to make sure that your stadium and other things that will bring people here will be rehabilitated or rebuilt. Let's think of how we'll move forward. And I believe that by the time we are united, we are living together in peace, sharing what we have been sharing that God has brought us together, you see investors and people will start coming here. Meanwhile, the State Commissioner for Energy and Economic Development, Engineer Naomi Agbo, said with the light up of Gimbo, other economic opportunities will follow. She paid tributes to the governor for ensuring that the project saw the light of day. I can clearly see that since I have been in Gimbo, I can see the joy that has surrounded the community of Gimbo especially seeing the great tribe of what energy can do to a community. As we embark on this chapter, let us reform our commitment to ensuring that we have sustainable growth and we also pledge our support to the forever working governor that we have. Also, Chairman of the Saudana Local Government Area, Mohammed Omar, who loaded the GAFTA for identifying with the area, called for the siting of more projects and higher institutions of learning on the Mambila Plateau as a way of harnessing the tools and potentials of the area. The Chief of Mambila, His Royal Majesty Dr. Shehu Aodo Bajo, and a member representing Mbanga State Constituency, Honorable Abel Peter Dia, all expressed appreciation to the governor. I respectfully request for the construction of internal roads and the establishment of higher institutions of learning such as the Federal College of Education, Federal University of Agriculture, College of Legal Studies, and many more here on Mandela Plateau. This will further enhance educational opportunities and contribute to the overall development of our community and Taraba State at large. Those of us in Gembu, we have known how much we spend on light, to get light. With this, we are overwhelmingly and for the first time, I will tell you, Your Excellency, all our boards are now functional because the, the, the light is pumping light and water for us throughout the night. We really want to appreciate his words. The last time this particular uh, RDB was functional, it was in, uh, I think, it's over 20 years. Uh, it was functional. And, uh, today, our youth, particularly those who are into technology, electricians, welders, I mean, the cost of uh, work has reduced. And I think that uh, he has empowered a lot of people through this particular project. The occasion witnessed the commissioning of the rehabilitated Saudana local legislative chamber while Mandela cultural performance added color to the ceremony.